Hypos can strike twice. Hypoglycemia is a term used to explain what happens when blood sugar levels drop too low in a person with diabetes. It is also called a hypo. Having a hypo can happen if medicines taken for diabetes, food eaten and physical exercise levels aren't quite right. People can experience a range of different symptoms when having a hypo, including feeling shaky and confused, having a fast pulse rate, looking pale, being sweaty, or more serious signs such as passing out. In the UK, there are up to 100,000 emergency ambulance call-outs each year for hypoglycemia. Up to one in 10 people who have a severe hypo attack will go on to have another within a fortnight. This costs the NHS over £13.5 million each year. Each admission to hospital costs about £1,000 and each ambulance attendance costs up to £257. However, there is a way to improve all of this. Prevention instead of reaction is always helpful. NIHR ARC East Midlands, working with the East Midlands Ambulance Service, can now share an educational programme which has already had a positive impact. Our Ambulance Hypos Can Strike Twice study produced a booklet which is designed to lower the number of diabetes related 999 calls. Patients who've had a hypo are given the booklet by paramedics in addition to the usual treatment provided. It includes information of how to access follow-up care by GPs or specialised diabetes teams, as well as a reminder on what to look out for in terms of symptoms and warnings that a hypo might be happening. So what? We found that when paramedics shared the advice booklet with patients who were having a hypo, it led to fewer repeat emergency call-outs. The booklet helped people to recognise the early warning signs that their diabetes wasn't controlled and how to take steps to manage their condition. In this research study, we found a decrease in repeat attendances for hypos after the booklet was used by ambulance staff. The East Midlands Ambulance Service has said, The booklet has helped ambulance staff to provide up-to-date, useful, medical advice, which can be left with the patient. We found it encouraged working with other services to ensure the patient gets the advice they needed to help manage their condition. The booklet is easy to use and helps people prevent repeat hypos. In turn, this reduces calls to ambulance services, hospital admissions, and the pressures and costs for ambulance services and hospitals. As the study lead, Professor Nero Sirawardener explains. By improving targeted education, we can ease the pressure on the NHS and improve the quality of life for people experiencing severe hypo. It takes several years for the learning from research to influence frontline health and social care practice. This study is one example of how we can speed up the adoption of evidence into frontline care. What can I do? Our Hypos Can Strike Twice booklet has already been shared with all ambulance services in England as part of Hypo Awareness Week. However, if you're interested in using it and haven't yet got a copy, it can be downloaded to use now, free of charge. The booklet can be found on our Arc East Midlands webpage. Just click on the link at the bottom of this page underneath the video.